Hey everybody, it's Greg and Janet with Strange RV Tours. Today we are at 2598 Forest City Drive in Henderson, Nevada, just outside of Las Vegas, and we are standing in front of Tony Curtis, the great actor, Tony Curtis's death house. This is the home that he died in. This is the last home that he lived in. So join us. Let's take a look around. Alright, this is the beautiful last home of Tony Curtis and I'm gonna let the pretty lady take over here and tell you all about it. Okay, well the house is supposedly on the market from what I understand for a million three hundred thousand a million three hundred thousand one thousand five hundred six dollars. Yeah. So only the payments would be just over six thousand dollars a month. Cool, huh? It's three bedroom and four bath. But uh, this is where Mr. Tony Curtis passed away. And this is where Tony Curtis passed away. So uh, he was actually born June 3rd, 1925, Bernard Schwartz. He died cardiac arrest here in this home, September 29th, 2010. And he had six children. Um, when he passed, five were still around. Uh, he's been married six times. He has seven grandchildren. And his children, Jamie Lee Curtis, Kelly Curtis. Um, he was married to Janet Lee. His last wife was named Jill. But uh, Greg, you want to tell him about all his career and his movies? I had a big crush on the guy. I like the dark hair and the eyes. Oh man, and he's so hilarious. But he could—he's a great actor. He did drama, comedy, you know, like Spartacus. Some like it hot was, you know, the infamous funny comedy. Yeah, you know, but what else did he play in that you liked? Uh, <clears throat> of course, Spartacus. Yeah. Uh, around the world, I think he was in Around the World in 80 Days. He was in The Boston Strangler, played Albert DeSalvo. Uh, but I got a man crush on him because he had a kissing scene with Marilyn Monroe. Oh, and yeah. anybody that has a kissing, uh, kissing scene with Marilyn Monroe, I'd like to shake their hand. Yeah. <laughs> so, great actor, great actor. Uh, he was also a uh, very renowned artist. And he's a prolific painter. He, he produced a lot of paintings. He did more painting than he did acting in the later part of his life. Um, but it's a beautiful home here. And let's, let's take a walk around, see if we can't see a little bit more of this place. We're lucky, lucky in the fact that this home sits right next to a golf cart path for the golf course. So we'll walk out here and See if we can't take a look at the house while dodging golf balls. <laughs> what a view. That's, yeah. Look, you can see well, the you can whole see, golf course. See the whole valley. There's, yeah. a, there's a strip out there. Yeah, that's gorgeous. I don't know if you guys can see the strip or not on this uh, camera, but the strip is right over there. And well, we're just past the green over there all the way. That's the strip all running from the strip all the way to downtown. You can see strat the stratosphere tower. Coming out into the sunlight here, folks. What a gorgeous place. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I saw a video online where a friend of Tony's had done an interview with him, and I saw Tony and his buddy walking out of the main part of the house over into this area on the far right on the back side. And that area there with the French doors, I believe that was his studio. That was his art studio when he lived here. Wow. What a gorgeous place. Oh wow, the infinity pools go, it has two, two edges to it. 
when we say infinity pool if you don't know what an infinity pool is the water if you can see the water running over this uh i guess waterfall you'd call it that top edge is the water line of the pool the top edge of that wall so if you're inside the house and you're sitting down and you look out at the pool area it makes it look as though the pool goes all the way off into the horizon so it almost looks like an ocean rather than than a pool when you're looking out on it you can't see the other side of it really neat and then the water drops down into a trough and feeds back into the pool system what a neat place that's oh, a beautiful patio isn't it beautiful home <laughs> all right folks so we hope you enjoyed this little uh visit that we made to tony curtis's last home in henderson nevada if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button the subscribe button the little bell so that you get notifications and please share these videos and until next time we will see you guys again real soon unless the beautiful one has something to say uh, thanks y'all thanks for watching all right talk at you later <laughs> bye bye